This beautiful bird is an American kestrel. Her name is Dakota. She's an adult female, but young. She's here with us because she was struck by a car and unable to fly well enough to hunt and take care of herself. Dakota is a cousin of the falcon family. She's the smallest of the falcons, and they're doing very well as far as their conservation. The problem with this little bird, even though she's quite feisty, is she falls prey to many of the other hawks and other birds. It's the only little bird of prey that has the very rounded nostrils. The falcons tend to have oblong nostrils because they're such speed birds. This one doesn't go quite so fast, yet she still has, there's a little peg right inside the middle of their nose, and that, that is for the falcons to go fast enough to diffuse the incoming air. This bird also has built-in sunglasses. This helps them to see when they're chasing aerial insects, small birds, and things of that nature, because that's one of their primary ways of hunting for food. This little bird is very adaptable to just about any living areas. They go from high in North America, down into South America, Central America, and the only ones that tend to migrate are the ones in Upper North America, say from the Great Lakes North. And they will come back. Incredibly, they know when it's time to go and when it's time to come back, and they will return to an area if it's been good to them with food. On the back of her head, those two round circles are used as camouflage or to appear as large eyes. And when they're sitting out on a wire or fence line, they will bob their heads up and down. And part of that is to make those move to look like it's a bigger animal than it is with its eyes looking around. The little feet look innocuous and you think, oh, I could touch, I could put them on. But when they grab, the power in these little feet are unbelievable. These birds are not soaring birds per se. You will see her wings are very angular and sharp. These guys are speedy jet, like fighter jet type birds that zip through the air, unlike uh, the red-tailed hawk that floats and soars with the large wide wings. This bird could be found in backyards and they readily are. If you have more of a field with especially insects and small rodents, like vole would be her favorite that you would be able to find them in, in your yard. And if you learn to recognize them at a distance, you don't see all these details, so it's harder to pick it out. But once you learn a little bit about its shape and form and movements, then they're easier to spot.